I will do life on stream. I will do the election thing. I mean, my state, my former home state, uh, election day, Valo, Mark, Sachsen, Anhalt. My home state is uh, having elections right now as we speak. The people are voting. I could do the Valo, Mark, to see what I will get. Uh, Landtagswahl, Sachsen, Anhalt. Here we go. Uh, how do I do that? So this is a program. Can I hopefully do this in English? This is a program that tells you what to vote for. This is my home state who votes today. Very, very big uh, election because it will show if the black party is going to get fucked and if the uh, right wing is getting strong. How do you... Uh, here. Okay, here we go. There should be more hospitals in public hands again. That's already... Here we go. That's a hot question because Twitch chat is going to be dumb. They're like, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yes. Per se, it's not a bad thing that... Hospitals have been privatized. The problem is, once the hospitals have been privatized, I read a lot of articles about this, everything went downhill. Because now, hospitals in Germany are a capitalist institution. They are a company. They just want to make money off you. And there's literally a catalog. For example, a heart surgery is 8,000. Uh, lung surgery, 10,000. And they just want to make as many surgeries as possible and make money off you. If you have a disease that doesn't make the money because there's no surgery you are not rentable for them you are just occupying a bed and you're you're making shit money for them and this capitalization of hospitals has led to very bad hospitals so i fully agree uh privatized hospitals seem to have been after all a bad idea in my opinion in sex and health no further areas are to be designated for wind power plants i highly disagree i i i once again this is all just my opinion are they gonna host the game soon or what what's happening um I personally, again, this is all my opinion. You can have your opinion. I don't get why the boomers... Dude, the biggest crisis of the human race is upon us. Global warming. If you deny it, you're just an idiot. And you're literally a threat to the human race. Global warming is real. And if your best argument is, Oh, my God, these, these wind power plants, they look kind of shitty. I like my German fields. Oh, yeah. If that's your biggest argument, that it looks shitty... And a bunch of fucking birds die while you eat fucking two kilograms of meat every day when you do your shitty barbecue, man. I highly disagree. More wind power. Section not should agree to an increase in the broadcasting fees. Oh, very controversial in Germany. Let me explain. In Germany, we have a very special law about broadcasting fees. Let me explain. Every single state in Germany has their own TV station. And all of Germany has free... Public TV station, ARD, ZDF and noch was, das erste. These are public TV stations. And they are being funded by taxpayer money. Which at first sounds very bad. I get it. Like all Germans is a really big thing in Germany. It's like, oh, why do I have to pay them? Like you're a poor student. You have to pay 120 euros or something a year. Uh, even if you don't watch the station. Even if you don't watch the station. Uh, GZ. The thing is though, here's the counter argument. As I got older, this, the Germans will understand this maybe. As I get older, I watch a lot of uh, public TV, ZDF, and I think they're doing an amazing job. I watch a lot of ZDF now, Heute Show, Böhmermann, Studio Schmidt, the documentaries. I think they're doing a really, really good job. And they're providing very good journalism. Uh, the main news of Germany is Tagesschau, which is uh, paid by taxpayer money. I think they're doing a great job. They're very critical. They're not fake news. And with inflation, I'm going to be neutral here. It's a very difficult thing. I kind of, I, I would like to pay more, but if you, if I was still poor, I would not like to pay more. I'm going to be neutral on this. It's very, very different. In the cities, Tempo 30 should apply. Oof. Let me tell you, 90% of Germans say do not agree. Germans love their speed. Uh, the fastest country in the world. You can drive as much as you want, man. And any party who wants to attack this is going to lose all the votes. Thank you, Josie boy. I personally am a fan of it though. I personally believe it's arrogant. Uh, I want to drive my SUV as fast as I want. Fucking Green Party, right? Fuck him. Fucking Green Party. Uh. But what if it actually statistically helps the environment? What if it actually does something for us? So I personally, I'm for it. I'm for Temple 30 and I'm going to get a lot of haters in chat for this. You don't need to drive fucking 60 all the time. You don't need to, man. I'm agreeing with this, because it helps the planet. I, I said it, man. Edgy shit, man. I, I fucking did it. Parents should continue to contribute to the costs of looking after the children in a daycare center. 
parents should continue to also pay money when their children are in a daycare center. It's a very big thing, right? Having a kindergarten place is very, very hard to do, especially if you don't have a lot of money. The government should help. I'm going to choose neutral here. The state is to pay self-employed cultural workers and emergency living aid during pandemic 100%. 100%. How can you disagree? We are throwing billions into companies that don't even need it. Uh, fucking VW. VW, uh, Volkswagen in Wolfsburg, the biggest car manufacturer in Germany, made a plus in 2020 and still got 3 billion from the state. While cultural people, uh, opera, theater, got nothing. They still are asking for it. It's not coming. Fully agree. Fully agree. It's a, there's no question about it. You can't even debate it, in my opinion. Special schools for children with disabilities are to be permanently maintained and say, why would you ever disagree? Who will ever disagree with this? I wonder what party you get if you don't disagree. Hey, should we close schools for disabled people? Uh, sure. Hundred. Fuck. Jewish ins- Oh, here we go. Oh, here we fucking go, man. Here we fucking go. This is where it gets really edgy. This is some AFD shit, man. Jewish institutions in the state are to be constantly protected by police officers. Chat is going to be so edgy here. I think I agree. Uh, Jewish institutions have been under attack in Germany lately. In my home city, the synagogue was attacked. Sometimes though, look, uh, listen to this. I very often drive by the synagogue where the attack was, literally in real life. And the police officers, they're all day there just eating donuts. And that's always a bit, nah, okay. I, I personally will, because the problem in Germany is the, the police is very weak. The police has a lot of money issues. They, uh, there's a lot of people missing. And just having two police officers all day there doing nothing while they can help somewhere else. I think I'm gonna be neutral here. If I was the if I was the leader of Germany, I would make a system where uh, a Jewish institution like a synagogue uh, can always call the city and be like, "Hey, uh, we would like to uh, apply for a security ship," and they're like, "Okay, we're, we're helping you." Um, something like, I'm gonna be neutral here. I'm gonna be neutral here. The state is to promote the expansion of photovoltaic systems on agricultural land. Are they talking about solar power uh, thingies? I'm a bit dumb here. Does this mean the, the little solar power plants everywhere? Why am I getting this wrong? Yes, I fully agree. Promote the expansion of solar power. Yeah, 100%. Easy, man. There's actually people that are like, it looks so ugly. Yeah, you fat, dumb fuck, man. The state should not accept any further refugees. Oof. 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 And here's the thing, I want to make a point, Chad. Please listen to me for a second. My home state is voting as we speak. And it looks like they're going to be the first state in history since World War II to majority vote for a right-wing party. And it comes from something. I, I want you to understand, when you ask this question, a basic Saxon unhaltenian German, a shit ton of them is going to agree. The young people, they're going to be, yeah, let them in. But you have to understand, a lot of the old people in my home state are very against refugees, man. And the question is, I, I think it's always wrong to say, oh, they're Nazis, they're bigots. I think the real question to ask is, why is that so? Why are they like this? Why do they have this opinion? And how do we change it? That's, I just want to say that real quick. It's, it's always wrong when both sides are like, oh, you're racist, you're a bigot. And the other ones, oh, let everyone in, haha, <laughs> flowers, flowers. It's not that easy. It's not that easy. You have to really, it's a very, very difficult topic with a lot of facets to it. And that uh, Twitch shit, and especially me, cannot handle that easily. Um, I obviously don't agree. I don't agree. Because I just talked about this uh, yesterday with Lisa. In Germany, uh, we, we had, uh, I was watching news yesterday. And East Germany is is very white wingy, right? Every fourth person in the East, especially in Saxony and Saxony Altenia, votes for right wing parties. Now, and Lisa made a good point yesterday. If you now look at a map of Germany, where is the most refugees? It's West Germany. Now, look at this. This is just facts. This is not all the racists in chat. Did my chat just die? Oh, oh, I, I just was turned off. Oh, I was turned off. GG. Am I banned? My chat literally died the moment I talk about this. Yeah, chat is yeah, chat is back maybe. Uh, that's why I don't stream on Sundays. Twitch just dies all the time. I think you guys are bad. Back, yeah, you're back. And now, how is this? 
the areas in Germany with the most refugees have are much less likely to vote for white ring than the areas with the lowest refugees. East Germany, sexy sex Latino, has the least refugees, but it's the most against refugees. And a good point to think about this is to think these people don't know refugees really. They never worked with them. They had, didn't have a beer with them. They never worked together. If you look at the Ruhrpott, the big industrial center of Germany, there's a lot of uh, guest workers, Turkish people, Syrians. And they come, they work together, man. There's not that much racism. They don't vote for AFD. But where I come from, everybody is hardcore against, dude. My entire family, everyone who I ever met in my city, they're all against refugees. But they never met any. The only thing they see is they see YouTube videos of, I don't know, some Arabian guy stabbing someone. They hear stories of their friends. Also, I gotta be honest, in my supermarket, all the co-workers are very racist. Why? Because a lot of people that steal in our supermarket were foreigners. Brown people. Which is a very unfortunate. It sucks. Ben, it's, it's, it's just a fact. And if they only see that, you become very racist. But once you fucking talk to these people and inter-cultural uh, shit happen, you understand. It's not that bad, you know? Very, very big problem in the German mind, man. Very big problem. And that's why I think I do not agree. It's hard, man. It's, it's I think I'm neutral here because it's hard. There's so many pros and cons and some. It's very, very. I think I'm neutral here. Because also you, you, and now I'm going to shit. I just was shitting on the right. Now I'm shitting on the left. Left wing people, young students, young open minded people. They're always like, uh, no borders, let everyone in. It doesn't work like that. There's criminality coming with it. Some bad shit, scams are coming with it. I was literally working in uh, the office for refugees. They would always try to scam us and shit and, and stuff like that. It's very... There's not just one side, man. I'm gonna choose neutral. Very, very uh, delicate topic. Very, very delicate. Thank you, Bad Encounter. Very delicate. The list of the parties for the election to the state parliament of Saxon should have to be filled alternatively with men and women. The list of the hey, I don't understand what the list of parties for this election to the parliament of the state should have to be filled alternately with I don't understand sorry I'm what oh uh, it's a very bad translation that's no what it says is it's a very bad translation by Google here it says um so every four years you have to no, no, it's not 50-50. Wrong. Chat, you guys are just wrong. Listen to me. I'm the one who speaks German. Jesus fucking Christ, you arrogant fucks. It says, every four years, you have to put a person on your list. Hey, this is the guy you have to vote for us. And what this is saying is, if it was a man, in four years later, there has to be women. Right? Abwechselnd mit... Yeah. This is saying, you arrogant cunts in the chat. I fucking hate some of you guys. I, I, at this point, I just hate some of you guys. Always act like you know everything. Uh, always change it. I fully disagree. Fully disagree. Uh, I think true equality is that everybody's treated equally and you choose the best candidate. Whether his gender is women, men, or diverse. You choose the best one and not on gender. That's almost sexist in my opinion. I highly disagree. The country is to take over the depths of over-indebted municipalities in full... Uh, sorry, what? Sorry, guys. My English is reaching... Das Land soll die Schulden über Schuldkunden vollständig übernehmen. Oh, they're saying, um, so a, a commune means a village, a city. Each little part is a commune. And they're very in depth lately. They're very in depth. And this is asking, should the state, the state, not the country, not Germany, the state, should they take over the, the debt? Oh, man, these are very good questions. Because you have to understand, some communes, it's not their fault. They just aren't lucky. And some other communes, it's their fault. Uh, there was just this, uh, some months ago, I was watching a documentary. There is a commune in Germany, and the, 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 the leaders of the commune, they gambled all the money on the stock market, and now they're in debt. So yeah, fuck you. I don't know. I kind of feel like I don't agree. I, I, I'm going to disagree here. A new motorway uh, is to be planned in Saxony. No, we have enough. No, what? Why would why would we need a new motorway? Google Maps. Why would we need a new motorway? This is not 1944, man. Let's take a look at my state. Saxony and Haltinia, right here. Boom. 
there's nice fucking you don't need to know motorway man it's fucking fine man yeah no i agree no new motorways get skilled workers from abroad why not i mean yeah get specialists from other countries if, if they're not here yeah why not sure yeah why not there should be a ministry of digitization 100 percent agree 100 million percent the state of sex and is to stop funding the school network school without racism school with courage what a, isn't it sad this question shows what's wrong with germany how is this a question we're asking if a project called school without racism should be cancelled four years ago eight years ago you would not get this question that's wow that shows you what's changing man that's scary that's scary man what that, that even is a question it's 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 a question that wants to see if you're an afd right winger uh is to stop funding no why no don't the wolf should continue to be strictly protected in another this is all afd questions the afd the right wing party their biggest topic is the wolf that's how fucking dumb we're living in a tv show their biggest thing is the wolf has to be protected the wolf is a great german animal Heil Hitler, Heil Hitler. thank you righty fuck gives a fuck about the wolf obviously you should fucking protect him why the fuck not sure yeah in large housing projects there should be a fixed quota of social housing i agree because the the rent in germany is getting so ridiculous now that nobody can afford it anymore and all the big companies are buying everything and enslaving everybody i read a big article about the last week the housing market in germany is so fucked it's only rich people buying everything and they're enslaving the the i agree they're enslaving the poor people like that that was cool the articles there was this article about housing and how everything it's the same in your country everything is getting way too expensive now and there was this really interesting thing he said i i really felt interested there's a new class of humans and this is gonna sound weird but it makes a lot of sense there's a brand new class of humans not middle class upper class lower class there's a new class it's the uh, inheritance class it's a class of people look there's a there's a there's a group of humans on this earth that are in such rich families they will always whatever they do inherit a lot of fortune and their children will re-inherit blah, blah 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 and as we know the gap between rich and poor is getting bigger meaning the rich are getting bigger and bigger and they're inheriting all their money to their children and we don't have a lot of inheritance tax on this planet in germany not so much you, there's a lot of loopholes and shit and after many many years a lot of money is going away from normal humans into this class and you have this inheritance class and it's very slowly at least i'm just quoting this article here this inheriting class is getting really really strong because they own all the real estate they are the only ones with enough money to buy real estate normal human beings right you can't even afford a house anymore in big cities impossible and they're slowly taking over man very very interesting shit man uh the introductory sentence of the state constitution should continue to refer responsibility before god i disagree the this is actually this is actually here comes some law school this is unconstitutional the german constitution is a secular constitution the state and religion has to be spread apart also it says i think in article 7 which i studied i wanted to be a religious expert article 7 states the german state has to be neutral to all religions if it says in the constitution of the state responsibility before god you are disrespecting other religions for example that have multiple gods this is legit unconstitutional i fully agree uh, should not continue and a state should always be secular and distinguish church uh, religion and the state 100 percent. look at fucking turkey right agricultural businesses and sectionals should continue to be allowed to use synthetic pesticides fully disagree fully disagree they should not be i know it helps them but it also there are so many studies that show it goes into the groundwater it, it kills uh insects it, it, it helps the bee dying fully disagree i'm gonna get a green party here <laughs> thank you bigman the state should guarantee that every town can be reached by public transport every hour. Every hour? You don't need to reach a fucking village at 1 a.m., dude. But... I don't know, you don't need to reach a shitty village at like 1 a.m., dude. It's kind of an agree to neutral. Why not? Sure. You create jobs. The state is to introduce services that only support families with German citizenship. Oof. 
gentlemen edgy 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 and i think this might be where you see the con uh the the uh conservative side of tommy k first of all uh but i i've always listen i've always said i'm a constitutionist that's all I, I i really like the german constitution i studied it very long in in, in university i think the german constitution is great in article 3 it states equality for all you can't discriminate others because where they're from whatever so this is unconstitutional listen i personally had moments in my life where i agreed with this the greatest example ever is the following my grandma my dad's mother she was very uneducated she was really low-life scum redneck and after 45 years of being a shitty secretary for only 800 euros a month, she went to rent, pension, and when she when you go into pension, when you're an old per, uh, when you're an old person, 65 years old, you get 51% of your last salary. Now, when she died, I had to look at her financial stuff. So, this woman, even though she never was educated, never made much out of her life. She when she went into uh, how to say pension, she got 51% of her last pay cut, which was 412 euro or something. A woman that lived in Germany, paid taxes here her whole life, raised her family here 45 years. At the same time, I always tell the story. It's a true fucking story, man. I can prove everything I have all here. At the same time this grandma died and I did her financials, I was working in the refugee department of Halle. Now, when you are a refugee and you come to Germany, you have to apply, blah, blah, blah. And even though Germany does not know yet if you truly have refugee status, if you truly are a refugee, or maybe you're from somewhere else, even if you don't know that yet, the German state will give you the, the basic uh, living uh, shit, which is 400 something euro. You get, uh, you get uh, an apartment fully given to you. You don't have to pay rent while the grandma has to pay rent. And you get the um, interior of your apartment paid by the taxpayer. Now, this is a great example where Tommy is a bit conservative. A woman that even though she was never educated, working here for 45 years, has a harder time when she's 65 than a refugee who doesn't even have the status yet. She still has to pay her own rent. She can't do it. She has to go to the social offices and be like, I'm too poor. I please need money from the state. And these people are very bad to her. The woman has worked her whole life. They're very disrespectful to her. She has to love bureaucracy while uh, the refugee gets the same even better uh, again this is a bit unfair i'm using a case of a very poor german grandma if you had a good job you're gonna make much more money than the refugee in pension but i'm using a case of a grandma here that wasn't very educated didn't make a little money and that was always the point where i was like hmm what when i'm not a, i'm not a race not against refugees but that's kind of fucking goddamn bro this old lady has to work and even, I saw it in my supermarket, these old people have to steal because they're so broke. While I see all the, the refugees in the fucking sports bed area because they have a lot of side income. That's just the truth. That's nothing racist. A lot of the refugees, they, they work, uh, they work um, how to say, black. They do black work uh, without paying taxes, which I fully, is fully cool, man. But that's not really... I get why some people have an issue with that, you know? That's kind of... So... It says though some services that only support German citizenship. It's a very risky question here. But I think I made a good point. I explained it very well. There's some unfair shit happening. But I want to make everybody understand. This game will never stop, by the way. I'm not against refugees and shit. I'm for fairness. And dude, I was in that office for one month. And these guys would always be aggressive and attack us. And attack these ladies. There was no security. And when you see shit like that, you change a little bit. A little bit, man, you know? That's just the truth of life. The Twitch admin can watch this and be like, Tommy, I'm gonna ban you for this. There's a thing called real life, man. There's a thing called real life. And when you experience real life, as I just told you that story, you change a little bit in your head. A little bit. What is Buckman saying? Did I just see Buckman? If you pay tax in the country, should you not be allowed to get all services? Uh, but uh, Buckwin, if you're a fresh refugee, you don't pay tax in this country because it's not your fault, you're a refugee. You're looking for a status which takes a month. You, you have it very hard. You have to look for side jobs, but you don't pay taxes. So that argument is a bit on regards to refugees. Um, I'm going to just stay neutral so I make no one mad. Um, a very big issue in Germany, maybe also in your country, is that uh, we don't have enough doctors anymore. Uh, a big issue is that a lot of doctors want to live in big cities because they're young and fresh and they want to be with their friends. They want to be in the cities. There's less and less doctors in rural areas. And it's about... Um, there is places at university where 
yes you can come to med school but you have to sign that you will be a doctor on the land is that fair or not i think it's fair if you sign it you get little you get like more money and shit you get the state helps i fully agree with you bokuin if you pay taxes in a country you should have all the service fully agree i said nothing against that fully agree um i fully agree if you sign for it yeah there should continue to be places yeah if you, if you sign in the expansion and renovation of roads cycling should be given preference over car traffic i agree tommy is a green cunt that's where i'm a green cunt all power to the bicycles look at denmark look look at the uh, netherlands they're doing so great with bicycles man fully agree that's where i'm a green cunt teachers from all types of schools should be given the same starting salary no no fully disagree if you're a teacher on the highest school that means you have to that's a big question it's a good question i disagree though because when you are a teacher in the highest level of school form you have to handle much more content than lower levels i disagree i disagree the police in saxony should be allowed to carry out identity checks regardless of suspicion Oof, that's kind of some racist shit the police in Anhalt can the police check people just out of the blue thank you von sieben and andy the thing is they just check refugees uh uh, uh foreigners I i've seen it every day on the train station they they uh, if you have brown skin they just take you out and check you that's kind of fucking racist though man i disagree i think the thing is though when i talk to a police officer they say if i check 10 germans there's 0 0.5 rate of finding something and then if i check brown people there is uh, one out of 10 i check something they literally said that to me when i was in a police car after i had a fight in the supermarket so if you ask a policeman, it's a bit different. I disagree, though. Man, very edgy shit here. By the way, this game is never starting. I'm running out of time here. What the fuck's going on? I can't even... It's it's racist. I, it's, I'm against it. The state should pay a subsidy to the care allowance for family care. Sorry, once again, I have to... 100%. This is my mom right here. This means... Uh, let me explain. So, your your mom is very old and she can't do anything anymore she poops her bed blah 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 now now you personally take care of her you don't send her to an institution there's no polish girl taking care it's you should the money should the state give you money 100 like my mom does this all the time she never gets money she'll pay yeah fully agree saxony should campaign for a nationwide uniform central high school diploma oh this means everybody has the same diploma i agree germans what do you think uh there's the highest level of school in germany gymnasium it's a bit like if you do the best school in sexy anhalt it counts less than if you did the best school in bavaria you know i agree though yeah sure why not the protection of the constitution in the state of saxony is to be abolished what that is really some true nazi shit what wait oh, it's, it's it's wrong the the, the 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 translation is wrong this is wrong this is wrong. Uh, let me explain it. This is a bit wrong. They're talking about the Verfassungsschutz. In Germany, we have a government institution called Verfassungsschutz, protectors of the constitution. They are the office that protect the constitution. For example, if you walk around denying the Holocaust, they are coming for you. Should they be abolished? No. Uh, there's controversy about this because the Verfassungsschutz, the security of the constitution, has done a lot of mistakes lately. They do a lot of mistakes. Uh, there's some proof that some Nazis work in there and shit, but it should be abolished. No. They have some problems though, man. Uh, but they are reforming now, right? They have a new leader and shit. The A4 station of the forest of Saxony should preferably be done with native tree species. Oh, what a weird question. This means, so what they are saying is, we are planting new forests. Should we do it with native trees only? What a weird question. I don't wanna think I wanna answer that because I'm not an expert. Thank you, Zuubi. I don't know. I think I disagree. Because with... Listen to this. I read articles about this. It makes sense. Listen to this. Certain countries, like Germany, should introduce new types of trees. Why? Global warming is real. The world is getting hotter. Meaning, if you use more southern trees that are more easily able to handle the heat, it's much more clever to... Aforestation 
with foreign trees that can handle global warming better than the local trees that have big issues with global warming and especially with a certain buck uh there's this buck who's killing all the german uh forests now because he's living great in this i'm neutral i guess but yeah i guess neutral but you can't just say yes that easily i think it's important to introduce new species uh, as uh, the environment changes recipients of unemployment benefits hot sphere which is i know i was raised i know a lot about this my dad is one uh thank you blitz i've been around them my whole life recipients of unemployment benefit should continue to have their benefits reduced if they repeatedly miss appointments fully agree fully agree this is my life i know so much about this my dad is right like that like you're unemployed and if you don't show up to your appointments with the state you're gonna lose money fully agree sure i mean who's against that thank you lovebird i agree yeah fully agree the voting age to be rule 16 fully disagree full and utter disagree in my opinion here comes conservative tommy the people that want to push voting to 16 for example the democratic party in the usa under hillary clinton back in the day they only do that because they know younger people vote left-wing. They are more left-leaning. It brings trouble to them. I fully disagree. It's A, just a scam by left-wing parties. And B, I fully I fully believe that a 16-year-old human being, I see it every day in this fucking chat, is way too fucking dumb to make these big decisions. That's my opinion. When you're 16, man, you think about hentai all day and gaming. You don't fucking... No, I fully disagree. Fully disagree. 16-year-olds are fucking retards most of the time. Look at chat. Who's 16 in chat? They, watch him. They're going to be idiots. They're going to be called Shadow Sniper or something. Electricity is to be generated permanently from Lignite. Lignite. Oh, who would, why would you ever say yes here? This kind of says, let me turn. Wow, who says yes here? Electricity. Sh there should always be electricity from lignite, uh, brown cola, uh, the really bad stuff. There should be no limit to it. Who says yes to this? You must be completely out of your mind, man. Who says yes to this? Some boomer. So maybe that's a counter argument. Maybe 16 year olds are more clever than fucking 50 year old Nazi boomer. No. Who would ever say yes to this? Wow. The country should provide more financial resources for women's shelters. Oh, this is edgy shit, man. Isn't there studies that show that man houses are super uh, underrepresented? But you have to also be honest. Women houses are far more used because women are far more often the recipients of uh, domestic abuse. Yes, men have it too. You're totally right. But women have it far more. Uh, thank you, AZ. I'm going to be neutral because I don't know what the money is. Is it enough? I have no idea. I'm just going to be neutral. I don't know. The fees for second degree are to be abolished. The fees for second degree are to be abolished. I wait, what? You disagree. This is kind of. They're saying. Um, so you f you have a degree on university and you want to start your second one. Should the state pay you for that or no? I disagree. I know this firsthand. I disagree with this chat because I know it firsthand. Look, I come a pro 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 I come from a poor family. I never had money. When I was studying at university, I was heavily funded by the state because uh, I proved, look, I have no money. My parents are uh, poor. Give me money. And look, after five years, they said, listen, if you're not done with law school after five years, which is one, one more year reg than regular, you actually need four years. They said, if you don't finish by then, we're going to cut your funding. And you know what? I fully agree because you cut out the lazy bums. I was a lazy bum. It's the truth. Thank you, Jordan. I could have finished law school, but I was a lazy bum. And if they give me forever money, first of all, I'm going to get hardcore to debt. And second, I'm scamming the system. I disagree. I disagree. I think that uh, fees for university make you more adult because you understand you have a duty. You can't just fucking watch hentai all day and not go to university. At some point, you're going to be fucked. I disagree with this. They should be abolished. Agree. I have to agree. Agree. Thank you, Kendrish. They sh yeah, I agree with this. The working conditions in companies with seasonal workers should be controlled more closely. Fully agree, no question. And final, no, two more. Saxony Anhalt should continue to adhere to the limit of the new borrowing. Oh, wait, what? Saxony Anhalt soll die Begrenzung der Neuverschuldung weiterhin einhalten. Uh, this means um, in Germany there's a new doctrine before Corona, which says um, every state should make a black zero. Stop going into debt. But Corona fucked it up. Uh, I agree with this. Yeah. 
I like the the schwarze null, the black zero. And finally, should become climate neutral, but yes, fully agree, fully agree. I'm gonna be green. What do you guys think? I have to pee real quick. Before we do this, I'm gonna pee. I want to see this. So here we go, green party, yeah? I fully agree, green party. Uh huh. Chat, was I edgy here? I think I was a very educated young man here, right? Was I weird? No. If I get left party, oh, that's bad. Nah, I. This is the selection. Oh, I can choose uh, what will be in the final thing. So let me show German party. CDU, in my opinion, the biggest scam of the world. Uh, this is a Merkel's party. Tommy's girlfriend. Okay. Um, uh, AFD is the right wingers. This is left wing, kind of communist almost. SPD is just. Don't listen to them. Green party and FDP. NPD, that's literally Nazis. NPD is the legit Nazis, chat. The legit fucking bring back Hitler. Uh. Yeah, turn. Just the real ones. This is the real ones. Okay. Select all parties. Because I think there's a new party called Volt, which is actually really good. Where's Volt? Health Research Party. I like that, because I'm a I wanna be a technocrat, right? Climate list. Nah, I'm just taking the normal ones from this trash. Gentlemen, let's go. Like if there's a party that's technocratic, I will totally take that. Here we go. Green party, 100% green party, man. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. So there it is. You guys always shit on me. A lot of people in chat shit on me because I vote for the greens. I'm such a fucking soy boy. But I just answered all these questions in a adult manner, in my opinion. And this is what it is. SPD and left. Oof. Damn. It is what it is, man. I'm 65% Nazi. 44%. That's the Nazis, you monkey, man. Jesus. They're not Nazis, though. It's very unfair. But they're starting to become... I don't know. More linked than FDP. Well. There you go, chat. There you go.